Let's blast off into the cosmos with a mind-blowing question. You will not believe how huge the universe really is. Imagine shrinking Earth down to just a tiny grain of sand. Pretty small, right? Now picture the entire observable universe. Would it be as tiny as an orange, a watermelon, or maybe even a basketball? Well, hold on tight, because if we could compress everything in the cosmos to that scale, the universe would be more than 30 times larger than the sun itself. Get ready for an incredible journey as we explore the vastness of space and uncover just how colossal our universe truly is. Buckle up, let's dive in. The tiny Earth in a big universe. On our normal scale, Earth is about 8,000 miles in diameter. Huge to us, yet minuscule in the grand cosmic picture. If you hopped into a commercial airplane, it would take around 45 hours to circle our planet. But when we compare Earth to the other celestial bodies in our solar system, it's just a tiny speck of dust. Take Jupiter, for example, the largest planet in our solar system. It's 11 times the diameter of Earth stretching across about 88,000 miles. And then there's the sun, an enormous ball of burning plasma that could fit approximately 1.3 million Earths inside it. Visualizing the solar system, to make these figures more relatable, let's replace planets with everyday foods. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun, would be a small peppercorn, Venus, a cherry tomato, Mars, a blueberry, Saturn, a large grapefruit, Uranus, an apple, Neptune, a lime. Jupiter, in this food analogy, would be a watermelon. Massive, but still manageable. The sun, however, becomes an enormous pumpkin or jackfruit, so big that it's more like a skyscraper than a fruit. Imagine a tiny tomato sitting next to a skyscraper-sized vegetable. That's how small Earth is in comparison to the sun. And Earth's distance from the sun? About 93 million miles, a journey that would take 176 years by car at 60 miles per hour. This distance, called an astronomical unit, AU, is used to measure the distances of planets in our solar system, venturing beyond our solar system. But our solar system is just the beginning. The furthest planet, Neptune, orbits about 2.4 billion miles from the Sun, roughly 30 astronomical units. Beyond that lies a dwarf planet named Far Out, formerly Far Far Out, located at a staggering 132 astronomical units from the Sun, orbiting once every 700 years. To put this into perspective, the edge of our solar system extends into the Oort cloud, a vast shell of icy debris stretching from roughly 5,000 to 100,000 astronomical units, or over a light year away. If we shrink our solar system to the size of a football field, the sun would be a tiny dime, sitting at one end. Neptune would be a granulated sugar grain located about 60 yards away. Far out would be over 250 miles from the sun, about the distance from a few football fields away. The Oort cloud's outer edge would be over 1,600 football fields away, an unimaginably vast distance. The Milky Way, Scaling down further, our entire galaxy, the Milky Way, would be about the size of the United States if our solar system were a tiny coin. Stretching across 100,000 light years, the Milky Way contains over 400 billion stars, including our Sun. Within this galaxy, stars like Sirius, the brightest star visible from Earth, shine from over 50 trillion miles away. Sirius is about twice the size of the Sun and has a mass approximately four times greater. Other giants include Betelgeuse, a red supergiant 700 times larger than our Sun, and UI Scuti, the largest known star, which is over 1,700 times the size of the Sun. To visualize UI Scuti, if our Sun were a basketball, UI Scuti would be over 1,000 feet wide, about the length of a large cruise ship, the expanding universe. But the universe isn't just huge, it's constantly expanding. The Milky Way isn't alone, it's part of the local group, a collection of over 50 galaxies, including Andromeda, our nearest spiral galaxy neighbor, just 2.5 million light years away. If the sun were a ping pong ball, Andromeda would be a small dot two feet away, a distance so vast that light from Andromeda takes 2.5 million years to reach us. Beyond the local group lies the Virgo Supercluster, a massive assembly of thousands of galaxies spanning over 110 million light years. Within this supercluster is the largest galaxy known, IC 1101, 
a giant elliptical galaxy over 550,000 light years across, hosting hundreds of trillions of stars and a supermassive black hole at its core. Black holes. Black holes are some of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe. The closest black hole to Earth, about 1,560 light years away, is relatively harmless, far enough that it poses no threat. But the most massive black hole known is Ton 618, located 10.4 billion light years away, with a mass of about 60 billion times that of our Sun. It's so enormous that it could swallow our entire solar system multiple times over. Black holes form when massive stars collapse at the end of their life cycles, compressing their mass into an infinitely dense point called a singularity. The gravity becomes so intense that not even light can escape. The biggest black holes exist at the centers of galaxies, their enormous mass warping space-time itself. The largest structures in the universe Stretching our imagination further, the universe contains enormous structures called galaxy filaments, vast threads of dark matter, and galaxies stretching over billions of light years. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, for example, is a massive galaxy supercluster filament spanning over 10 billion light years, so vast that it challenges our understanding of cosmic evolution and the limits of the universe's size. Another colossal structure is the Pisces Cetus Supercluster Complex, composed of numerous galaxy clusters spread across more than a billion light years. And even bigger is the observable universe itself, a sphere with a diameter of about 93 billion light years, containing hundreds of billions of galaxies, each filled with countless stars. How small are we? Let's bring everything back to familiar scales. If the Milky Way were a tiny grain of sand, then the entire universe would be unimaginably vast, larger than the tallest skyscraper or the biggest ocean. The observable universe would be the size of an Olympic swimming pool or even taller than the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember, those tiny points of light are just a glimpse of an enormous universe filled with billions of galaxies, trillions of stars, and mysteries that continue to baffle scientists. The universe's true scale is beyond human comprehension, yet by understanding just a fraction of it, we gain a deeper appreciation for our tiny but precious place in this cosmic expanse. Let's blast off into the cosmos with a mind-blowing question you will not believe how huge the universe really is.